And step back, sweet. Right, step back. See, even he knows. Uh, you, even he knows. you learn real quick. You get. You want to be as far away from this thing as you can. Good morning, guys. We're heading to an accident for the Lake Jackson Police Department. We are picking up a uh, Chevy Camaro. Not sure on too many details. They said it was both an accident and an arrest. So, not sure what was is what exactly is going on. Is there any injuries or anything like that? So, if you would keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers. We'll see what we got here shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, looks like it's up here ahead of us. They're off on the right hand shoulder see something down off in the grass like out there. Turn on the guardian angel lights. Airbags deployed. What's up guys? How's it going man? So this is it huh? Yep that's it. Oh. Keys are over here. All right. Keys are on the hood. On the hood of the cruiser. Guess he's still doing the he's inventory and stuff on it. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Thank you. How'd they end up there? Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Hey, what's your YouTube channel once again? Toad Truck underscore Dustin. Toad Truck underscore Dustin. Are we recording? Yep, I'm on. All right. We've got all kinds of crash piled up in there. It's not otherwise drivable. Drive it out if it has enough traction. You're not on TikTok, right? I do have a TikTok, but I don't post on there just a whole lot. Appreciate it. So y'all good with here. it in the meantime? Just, okay. Uh, we gotta get his, put his impression on the full top part of it. Okay. I'm gonna see if this thing will move, so I don't have to okay. drag it around so All far. Right. How wet the grass is, that's questionable. Yeah. <sighs> well, owners are in the uh, uh, top car. The rest is the DUI. Yeah, it looks like it's not gonna trigger. No. Nope. Looks, like, no, looks like the airbags. <laughs> Triggered the. Uh, Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Triggered the uh, safety systems. So we get to do it the fun way. Walking around and 
wet knee high grass. Make sure there's no traffic coming in. Airbags, turn on my PTO and idle it up. Mm. Grab my winch remote. feet of cable currently. I want to go down past the third wrap. Gauge it so that we don't uh, I could have ripped this line off the spool. Right about 20 foot. This one I'm probably gonna grab from the rear. It'll be easier to make it go where I want it to go. If I can steer the front end and the rear end because the back tires are locked up. One of my Yankum soft shackles. Using a soft shackle so you don't damage nothing. Soft shackle? Okay. All right, learn it. See, I'm learning this is great, man. All right, where's the strap? Yeah, I got a, a winch remote. So I got to do as much walking. So I don't have to do as much walking. Right, yeah, all over the place. <laughs> and step back, so we ain't. Step back. See, even he knows. Uh, you, you learn real quick. You get. You want to be as far away from this thing as you can.
here so I can watch how much cable I got out. Get that here out of this wet grass. By the time I run all my cable in, I'll have enough range to pull it all out and grab it with just the winch cable. off the soft shackle but leave it on just gonna toss this here for now at the shop re-engage pinch pulling it up on the road Steer it over a little bit now. Heard, understood what the officer was saying. It's a uh, wrong way driver. This is how he ended up here. Turn the wheel so it kind of angles back towards the road. here in a minute I'm going to pull up and load it get it up closer to the road should be able to load it about the same angle. Just the pull. Side pulling. Pretty light so far this morning. 
the busy side of the road is going to be on the over there on the southbound side of the road. It's all the chemical plants for that direction. Yes, I intentionally left myself quite a bit of room so that I can straighten this thing out. See why in just a moment. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get a bunch of water on my camera lens and all this. Do on the grass. Let's see if I can walk up to bed without slipping and falling. Put both of my snatch blocks on. why in just a moment if you don't already uh, subscribe but one of these right, right here out on the uh, all the way out on the chain in so I'm pulling straight at the car that one's keeping the line going straight at the winch so again we cannot put the vehicle into neutral stay over here so I can steer it that's how I'm going to steer the rear ends. Here I'm going to probably steer the rear end up a little bit so that it wants to kick the rear end up and over towards the snatch block there. Sliding over that way. Front end is dropping down. Rear tires coming up over the edge of the pavement. Exactly what we want. Well, if we can pull this snatch block out. Because now that's going to keep the, uh, the winch going straight. Make sure that this chain's not up. No. I'm going to turn the wheel back down here so the front end wants to start coming up. Looks like there's some front end damage. This thing doesn't have a whole lot of steering. It does have a little bit. I want the rear tire to come right to the edge there. We can snatch block over because this is our steering.
return war if it will. I need to pull this snatch block. Now that we're close enough to the winch. Catches the edge of the bed and twists right on up. Just about perfectly square and center in the middle of the bed. Turn that back straight. Make sure that is off. So, a couple of straps on this thing, just enough to make it safe to get off of the side of the highway. I still have to sign my paperwork for the cops, and then we are ready to go. All that grass hung up on the front end of this thing. And they said he was southbound in the northbound lane and got crossed up somehow and ended up in the ditch. Need me to sign? Appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Throw this other strap on here real quick. That way I don't lose it or rip it. These two straps on this thing just to get it off the highway. Pull off down the road. There's a little parking lot not too far away. We'll cross over. I'll pull off there and get the other straps on it. Cops are good with us. So we're gonna get off the side of the road. back here at our Angleton yard. So, I got all the straps off. I did notice while doing so, this corner is the corner that was making it hard to uh, steer. The wheel does roll, but it's tucked back into the fender well. Looks like he hit something pretty hard here. Rips this corner back pretty hard, which is the dragon noise we heard earlier so not sure what he hit there when he came off of the the road but he uh, he caught something you see it's tucked back in so he hit it going forward we're going to lay the bed down Just 
try and turn that just a little bit to the driver's side if I can. And we do not have the, uh, as I'm not gonna say, we don't have the ability to shift lock it. These cars do have a shift lock at least you just have to take apart the center console, which I am not going to waste my time doing. So I'm going to try to straighten up the steering wheel here. Oh. Probably need to WD-40 the bed so that it will slide down because because it's rear wheel drive, the rear tires are going to slide the whole way off. Done. Grab my other, other can. Of course you could do the same thing with soapy water or number of other similar products I personally normally use WD-40 because it's simple and effective you can get it anywhere so this one Deliberately spray it. Put the tires there. Mix a little trail. Prefer the big jugs. to get me a I have a one of the pump up sprayers I keep saying I'm gonna put in the truck and just never do as I am running nearly 24 7 it is currently like right this time right like 4 a.m. get this call like 3 3 30 ish something like that They'll have to work all day tomorrow. So we are going to come over here. Probably have to give this thing a couple good little shakes. I'm gonna try to stand the bed up and see if it'll slide under its own power. Head. Barely, barely float the end of the bed. And because that one corner is kind of damaged, it doesn't really want to roll. So. try to sit here and shake it so I'm going to put that block in front of the tire put me another block behind the tire if you watched my videos before you probably know where I'm going with this if not let's see it's got one block preventing it from rolling away one block from dragging back Rather than sitting here shaking the shaking the bed, which is real hard on the hydraulics and everything, pull the bed out, get the rear tire since the rear tires don't roll. Pull the bed all the way to the edge there. Touch the edge of the bed. And now have to uh, 
engage my winch from this side because I free spooled it from this side. Tighten up the winch so it can't go anywhere. Get my block. Stick it behind that tire, just gonna help chalk it because we're fixing to push the bed back out, which will push the whole car. Need this block, which will push the whole car back out to where we want it. I'm going to stand on this side so I can watch what that corner does. It rolls a little bit, but it's kind of, it's got a bind on it. It's doing it this way would be a lot easier on the uh, bed and the hydraulics. So now, same thing, give it a couple little bumps and it'll slide off the rest of the way. tires on the ground, pull the bed out from underneath it, now we can get our hooks off of it. Got that done, no additional damage. Got to finish up my impound paperwork, pick up all my blocks, get to reorganize that toolbox and stuff, and uh, be ready for whatever else the day or night or whatever brings us so hope you guys enjoyed the video if y'all would be subscribed like and share